Why is it windy? Where's that wind coming from? To understand that concept, to answer that question, we have to understand two things. Number one, that air is a fluid, just like water. And number two, that Benjamin Franklin was a really smart guy. Let me show you what I mean. Benjamin Franklin was not only one of our founding fathers and an amazing statesman, he was also a brilliant scientist. And one time him and a friend did this simple but very amazing experiment. And that is they went out on a clear winter day and they put a black piece of cloth and a white piece of cloth down on a snowbank and they let the sunlight hit them. And what they observed was that that black piece of cloth absorbed that heat faster and melted the snow faster than the white piece of cloth. How does that play into things? What that tells us is that different colors, different types of substrates are going to absorb solar radiation at different rates. And that's gonna produce unequal heating on this planet. And it's that unequal heating that generates wind. So in order to illustrate this, I set up this apparatus. I've got a fish tank that has some water in it and floating in a metal pan over here. I have some cold packs to cool down the water on this side. And underneath over here, I have some flame, a can of Sterno that is on fire and burning. And you can see little bubbles beginning to rise up on that side. So with this apparatus in place, what happens when there's this unequal heating. We have cold on this side and warm over here. Well, to show what's happening, I have some red food coloring. Let's check this out. Notice that here, the water is sinking. That cold water, water's a fluid and that cold is moving down. And as it moves down, it will continue until it hits the bottom and begins to spread out. And there is no more of a natural place for that cold water to spread than right toward that rising warm water. It's as if the cold water wants to fill the hole left behind by that rising column of warm. Here by a pool, I can show you better. Air is a gas, water, is a liquid. Now these are phases of matter. And even though they're different phases, they both move the same, and that is they move like a fluid. So water and air are both fluids. If you want more detail on the differences in those, go check out my video. It's called An Ocean of Air, and it will explain it. So to illustrate what happens, whenever air, uh, whenever air gets hot, Whenever the land heats up, for instance, and that air begins to rise, I can take this bucket and dip it into the pool. I don't want you to watch the water in the bucket. I want you to watch the water surrounding the bucket. As I pull the bucket out, notice that the water in the pool flows in. As that bucket of water got lifted up, the water around it flowed in to fill that hole. Nature abhors a vacuum. We're not going to leave a bucket-shaped hole in the water where the bucket was. Water's going to flow in to fill it. But what happens to that same water as it begins to get up in the atmosphere, it cools down and it begins to sink. Well, let's watch. Huh. It totally spreads out. It does not uh, pile up. We don't get a pile of water when we dump a bucket of water ground. It hits and spreads out. So air does the same thing. As air warms up, it rises, and then as it hits the upper atmosphere, it cools off, losing its heat, losing its moisture, and it spreads out until it finally sinks back down. And when it hits the ground, it doesn't pile up. It hits and spreads and goes to find the next air that's rising and it flows up into it. Now these two systems of rising and sinking air have names. The rising air we call low pressure and the sinking air we call high pressure. The low pressure is typically warm with a lot of humidity 
and the high pressure is cool with very little humidity. And it's those two differences of the high and the low that create the wind. That air moving along the ground, connecting the high pressure with the low, that is what we call wind. So why is it windy? It's windy because of that unequal heating of the earth. Benjamin Franklin demonstrated it. We saw it in the fish tank. We saw it at the pool. We saw how that air is gonna behave and move because air, just like water, is a fluid. That unequal heating, anytime that you have that hot, warm air rising and that cool air descending down, those two, when they happen, wind is what's gonna connect the two. The stronger those forces going up and down, the greater the, or the lower that low pressure and the higher the high pressure, the faster that wind is gonna move. And that is why it's windy. Mm -hmm.